Right, a new club, and it's a step up from last time, so I can't wait to see the quality of the new players. Right then. How's it going folks? Welcome back to the Stingerman Journeyman Adventure and here we are at Real Kashmir FC in India and we've just joined. It's time to have a look at the squad. You can probably tell from the intro that this is going to be a bit more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. We've had a brief look at the squad. There it is and it's not much better than Lima Verde, you know. It's not much better. Now when I take over a new team, I like to Put players into positions that I think, right, we'll use you going forward, we'll use you. And I'll leave out the gaps everywhere else where I need to bring some players in. And lo and behold, this is my issue because I've got four players back there in defence, one in goals. Everything else, <sighs> bit of an issue. And to be honest, the guys I've got in defence, I'm not convinced about either. And then I looked at the league rules. So top tip for this episode, if you are doing a journeyman in a league you're not familiar with, is straight away, straight away, before you go in that transfer market, get your ass over to the league rules tab, just in case. And I'm glad I did. This is the main one I want to look at, the transfer windows and squad registration rules. This is where it's going to be a bit tricky, this. Bit tricky. Possibly harder than Lima Verdi. So you've got a minimum of five under 22 players. That's not an issue, no problem. Here, here is the kicker. Here is the kicker. Maximum of four foreign players. Maximum of three foreign players, not including Asian players. So is it four or three? Maximum squad size of 30. All good. Minimum squad size of 20. Minimum of three keepers in the squad. So the issue is here that maximum of four foreign players is the issue because the rest are going to have to be Indian players. And my knowledge of the Indian League and players... It's about as good as my knowledge of Tawi. I'm going back to this scene, so the tactic screen, where the players I thought might do the job I've already put in, well, two of them are already... Sorry, three of them, three of them. Three of these guys here, Robertson, McQueen and Sana, are three foreign players. So that means of the six positions up here, I can't have another foreign player. It's going to be after Indian Nationals. This is going to be a bit tricky. Back to the league now. This is how they finished... The end of the last season so it's 24 games in the league 13 teams in the league one champions because it's the only league in india and one goes down so kashmir fc finished in eighth and i did notice here can you see that in 12th place is another kashmir team so there's two two teams in the city which is interesting but they finished eighth won nine drew six lost nine goal difference of one and then the guy before me who was a mr david robertson formerly of rangers he got the tin tack, he got the sack, which explains everything. My amazing viewers did tell me that this young kid here, Mason Robertson, is the son of David Robertson. So that's why this kid has ended up over in India. His dad's dragged him over. So a little recap of the rules coming up for you. And I'm going to go away now and do a bit of pre-season training and try and get some players in and juggle this foreign rule thing. I brought one player in straight away and it's this kid, Lewis Nisbet, with angry eyebrows. He looks a step above. Well, look at that. So he's got nice flair. He's determined. He's technical. He's vision. And a little skillful player. So I've got him in. I don't know how he's going to fit in. I've no idea how I'm going to play this tactic yet. We're going to build that shortly in the next clip. But he's the first player I brought in in a free transfer. And stupidly for me, I brought him in before I looked at the rules, even though that's just what I told you guys to do. So I brought him in. So there's another foreign player. I need to get one of the other guys out of here. Right crew, pre-season has been done and we've got some crazy, crazy little league setups I need to run you through. So first of all, scheduling. So scheduling of Indian League is a bit mental. I got my pre-season done, made some decent signings, including the key man just above my head there and new captain Stefan Illich. Raring to go for the season and then I realised the league campaign doesn't start until December. 
There's my squad, and now you can see how much bigger and badder it is. It's so much bigger and so much more depth than when I left you. I think I left you, and it was maybe up to about here. But I brought in so many players of Indian descent, mostly young lads in between the ages of 16 and 22. Brought them up from the development centre. Learning from Limavedi when we had the legend Brendan Friel come up from the B team. We've done that again here. So we brought in a load of Indian players to cover our ass, basically. And we brought in a couple more foreign lads. So I just mentioned this man. He's cost us £5,000. My transfer budget was 6000 I blew it all on this man. But it's damn sure worth it. Look at that. He's too, too good for this league. We've actually bought him from MHDN rolls off the tongue. FC, who are the favourites for the league this season. But look at his record for them. 18 goals in 24, 3 in 10, and we swoop for 5k, and I couldn't believe it, he joined the club, and he's going to be a banging signing. But alas, he is another foreign player, so I had to let the young keeper go. He's gone over to England, I think. Yep, he has. Serene Sane has gone over to Bradford City. He's got no brothers. 2.4k. So, I don't know, enough for a new PC. He's gone over there. Some other players have gone out the door. Some I wish I'd kept once I've realised the rules. Deals were done before I proper looked into them. But they're all gone. And you can see here all these transfers that I brought in. Three transfers galore at the back end of last season. Basically to bulk the squad up. And we're good to go now. The only player we spent money on was Ilchic there. Down at the bottom for £5,000. All my hopes are on his shoulders. We've built a tactic. I've got two tactics I'm going to roll with. I think, I think. I've had a little play in pre-season and... There's a random cup I'm going to talk you through as well, but we're going to go through this. I found that McQueen there is going to be the key man. He was on loan at Notts County. If you check out his preseason, he's done pretty well. Two assists in two, and then this Durand Cup, which we're going to get onto, four assists in three, and 8.1 rating. So we've got to focus ourselves down there, which we've done with focus player down the right. There's a top tip. If you're a poor team, like we are, you've got a one or two standout players, get them the ball, get them the ball. He's so much better than everyone else. The other wing back is pretty appalling. So I want the ball going to McQueen. He's going to combine a bit with Nisbet, the Australian that we bought in. He's going to float out wide. And Elchich on that side. It's worked out okay. Now I've been rotating that formation with this one. 4 2 4. Again, it's pretty simple. All I'm doing is I'm moving Nisbet from there over to there so you can combine with McQueen and overlap him and I'll push Rahul on a bit more so that's my more aggressive tactic I've got Ilchic up front with a variety of young Indian forwards just rotating and trying to find something that sticks that's it so far I mean if you look at the state of my keeper Mondal we have to attack because we're going to concede there's the schedule now even before the friendlies you can see I was just happily playing away right I thought let's get in the friendlies but no I got thrown into this cup, the Durand Cup B. Don't know what it is. <laughs> no idea. We won two out of three. We lost our last one. We got knocked out in second place. I'm still not sure what it is, but I used it as a bit of a pre-season friendly tournament. Then we had some friendlies here, including a 7-3 win. We have lost a couple as well, so it's a bit... Don't really know what's going to happen yet. We've got a few games coming up now. The league is, is upon us. We're in the 29th of November, so I'm still patiently waiting waiting and waiting for this season and kick off it does end in april right at the start of april so it's pretty similar to the northern irish league we've got that big derby with uh, city rivals or town rivals i don't even know park rival the park rival we'll call it because of our stadium and unbelievably Kashmir playing the same park so i think my transfer business is done we're going to go and play four five six games now we'll come back we'll catch a game at the end we'll see where we're going to be goals for this season i'm not too sure pre-season predictions are we finishing sixth so the light of my transfer business is probably all to do with stefan ilchic watch him right crew we're going to wrap this episode up with a quick game against serenidi serenidi you can see the way that the league has started we lost our first game 2-4 but since then we've come firing back including that bizarre game last time basically if the opposition shoot, we are in the shit. This is what we're going with today. We've met a few tweaks. You can see my centre-backs absolutely hate each other, which is always a good sign. McQueen has started brilliantly, but check out Ilchich. We knew he was going to do this. So far this season, he's scored 13 in 7 games and 8 in 4 in the league. My only problem is he needs a little bit of a backup next to him. And do you know what? I've got a plan for that. Stay tuned after this match. By the way, this is my first choice centre-back.
These boys are going to win the league. Look at the players they've got. I've just showed you my centre back. Look at theirs. Diego Hernandez, star player, Mexico. Yeah, I'm worried about this one. They've got a 4 2 3 1. And do you know what? They can probably play it because they've got technical players that are nice. They've got the best Indian players I've ever seen compared to mine, who we've just literally dragged off the street. These lot are decent. And it's a highlight straight away. We're in red. And look at this stadium. It's wonderful. So here they come, attacking straight away. Singh, this is going to be. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Murillo. This could be ugly, boys. This could be ugly. 15 minutes gone. We haven't had a shot yet. The keeper's actually got the ball. He finds McQueen. This is our only hope down this side. McQueen to Ilchich. Them two to Nisbet. Those three. Those three. McQueen crosses. Danu! Just half time and nothing else happened. That was okay. Other than that horrible start, McQueen has been an absolute boss with a 7.2. Winning all his tackles. Three or four key passes. Now, I did notice when I looked at the stats of the overall league, our strikers are the best in the league at long shots. So I'm just going to go for it here. I'm just going to tell them to go. To shoot more often. Both of them. Danu as well. Who, by the way, I've got playing in the number one shirt. Don't ask. Don't know how that happened. But he's a number one up front. I'm also going to ask my team to shoot on sight. Stats-wise, bottom corner, we're actually playing better than they are. This is annoying. We've got a throw in deep in their half. Here's Didica, the veteran. Lays it back to a lot of some of these names. We'll call him Laren. Joshi, look how high up we are. Crosses towards Ilchic. He can't get there. Nisbet, McQueen, can't get through. We've worked really well. Here's a throw in in the top right corner. Nisbet, the Aussie. Back to Laren Chalova. Nisbet to sing. I've asked them to shoot on sight, but it looks like they're going to get caught on the break. I've got one man back. Who runs it back? Ilchic hits one. Can't get through, though. 16 shots, 7 on target. We should have got something out of this game. Ganesh to Sakar. Bit disappointed the way it started, and that's a 1 0 defeat. Our second defeat of the season. And them stats there, after the way it started, should have got something out of that match. So after five games, that leaves us in fourth position. Three points behind Punjab FC and Srenedi, who just stole that win. And you can see what problem we've got. If Ilchich doesn't score, we're not going to score. So I need some backup, I need a plan. Plan executed. Can you see it? He's coming to India. 